Hello everybody, this is Pyra, and I wanted to bring you some of the latest Final Fantasy XIV news that we just received today, and that is the return of the Moogle Treasure Trove event. So, we knew that this was probably gonna come, a lot of us who've played for a while. However, we hadn't received any sort of date or time frame on it, and it is yet back again. So, if you are new to the Tr Moogle Treasure Trove event, this is a recurring limited time event where people can earn special rewards by completing specific dungeons, trials, and PvP activities, TLDR on it as well. During the event, you collect these currencies called irregular tombstones from participating content which can then be exchanged at an itinerant moogle at a certain few areas in order to get exclusive items everything from mounts to minions emotes gear etc they usually try to keep these two happening right before a new patch to offer players a chance to get some really cool gear that maybe have been locked in years prior from certain instances and duties, and also to kind of ramp up the hype between uh, the end of a patch cycle and the beginning of the new patch cycle. So specifics for this Moogle Treasure Trove event, it's going to be happening from October 15th at 1 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and it's going to run all the way through the day before the release of patch 7.1, which at the time of this recording is not confirmed yet 100%. However, the rough date that we're estimating is November 12th for patch 7.1. And now from the Lodestone, you can go to the Moogle Treasure Trove, the Hunt for Goetia special site, and it will bring you here and it'll give you all the information. We will look at everything that there is. So, of course, like we mentioned, there are going to be rare items that can be collected with irregular tombstones. Uh, I'm excited for this uh, donut earring. <laughs> kind of situation whatever this is and then of course we have these kind of shadow bringers mounts here and then some uh barding here as well and it reads the mughal treasure trove is a special event with no set schedule there are many rewards including brand new items and other items that you may have been after complete the objectives and collect the rewards so to reiterate, the event overview, Tuesday, October 15th at 1 a.m. Pacific Standard Time is when this event launches, and it is going to go all the way up into the release of patch 7.1. Dates and times are subject to change. It's going to depend on everything 7.1 related, really, and uh, the event may be suspended without warning. So please be aware of that if you are someone who likes to wait to the last second on things. And it says here, in recent years, demand from collectors and historians has led to a surge of adventurers seeking tombstones, those mysterious relics of the Elegant Empire made to record and keep its secrets. Some small number of the artifacts, unique for the peculiar sort of knowledge contained within, have piqued the interest of the eccentric, in particular, itinerant moogles, who come bearing rare goods of their own to exchange for these irregular tombstones. And so just a little bit of lore, just a little lore behind the event. And now the next big session is how to participate. We kind of went over it a little bit, but this is a breakdown of exactly how you can participate. Step number one is going to be to consult the Mogpendium. This is going to be your guide for how you can get the Tome Stones. During the event, you can check the Mogpendium for important details about associated objectives. And then if you want to obtain a Mogpendium, as it shows right here, you have to speak to an itinerant Moogle. And these Moogles, they will probably show it down here. These Moogles are pretty much always in the major three city-states. So you have Limsa Liminsa, Gridania, and Ulda. And then step number two here, there are four different ways to acquire irregular tombstones. You can choose the objectives that suit your style. First one is standard objectives. Next one is weekly objectives. Then we have mini mod challenges and ultimog challenges. So standard objectives, 
pretty simple. They can be completed repeatedly. So this is not locked. You can keep doing this content over and over again if you want to get more of these tome stones. And if you are in Duty Finder, one of the good things is, is there will be icon on Duty Finder like so that will be placed next to uh, duties that you will get the tome stones from. So it's nice and easy if you're trying to look for the duties in Duty Finder specifically. Irregular tome stones can also be acquired from gates and ocean fishing routes regularly. A couple notes here as well. Irregular tome stones will not be awarded if you are using the squadrons or the duty support system. You have to go live with people, with real people. Irregular tome stone rewards are only available to unrestricted parties if the level sync option is applied. You can't just go unsync a bunch of stuff in Zergit in order to spam these dungeons, you have to kind of go in at a restricted party or a level sink at minimum. And then if you are someone who is going to try to get tome stones with ocean fishing, you must score at least 1200 points while ocean fishing to be awarded tome stones. So the next section of objectives is your weekly objectives. These ones can be completed once per week to give you the set amount of tome stones. And there will be a relevant weekly objective that you can find in your Mogpendium in order to gain those extra tome stones. Of course, weekly objectives are updated every Tuesday at 1 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And now another once per week thing is the mini mog challenges. And these are going to be uh, two. You have to complete one of two objectives and you will be awarded these tome stones. And it says make sure you try your hand at a whole host of different objectives. So they have different things here. Of course, we have hunts. We have maps. We have triple triad. We have fishing. So it kind of gives you something a little bit different than say regular dungeons and duties and then the last major category is the ultimog challenges and this is a single challenge for the whole event so once you've completed this that is the only time that you will be able to complete four rewards in that event period usually it is a sizable tombstone reward it is kind of the big ticket item there and uh whatever you get once you complete it you will be done with that for the whole event and so that is step number two step number three now is to claim your regular tombstones and this is a very important one especially for your weekly and your full ultimog rewards so in your Mogpendium, there will be this claim rewards button that will be, uh, you'll be able to click it once that you've completed the objective. So make sure that you click this so that you get all of your, your tombstones and you don't leave any behind. And then step number four, we already kind of talked about this, but uh, you will seek out the itinerant Moogles and exchange regular tombstones for items. So... As I mentioned, New Gridania, Ulda, Steps of Nald, and Limsa Luminza will be the three areas with the itinerant Moogles. This is what they look like. They are very hard to miss, especially with events like this, because people will usually crowd around them, and they're very close to the Aetherites, as you can see kind of on the maps below. None of the Moogles are straying too far away from the major crystal. And a couple important items to note too, item exchanges will be available until the release of patch 7.2, and you will be unable to claim rewards via the Mogpendium after the release of patch 7.15. My recommendation for this is don't wait save up your rewards but once you know that patch 7.1 is going to be live i would say spend everything beforehand make sure that you finish everything beforehand so that you don't lose out on any specific items and then if you're short for any items you have time to get more tombstones to try to get what you want and so the last major section on the special page is the items awarded so we have some really good items this time i would say some some we've seen plenty of times if you've been in here a long time like myself and some brand new every time they have these events they usually do this high ticket item which is 100 tombstones and it's typically like an earring we've gotten a lot of earrings in the past specialty kind of earrings and this time it is a donut earring which is silly and stupid and cute all the same I 
I don't need these items. However, I always try to get them because <laughs> they're cute. And it's like you can't get them outside of this at the moment, at least. So it's good to try to save up for some of the big ticket items. Of course, the Great Serpent of Ringa, the Great Serpent Ring, Innocent Gwibber Trumpet, uh, Altroit Prism, which is another mount item for the Alt Altroit, if I'm saying that correctly, mount. Just a ton of different items. I would recommend, I'm not going to go through each and every one, but just to give you kind of an idea of what type of things there are, we have bardings, we have mounts, we have orchestrian roles, hairstyles, we have emotes, different types of like housing items, more mounts, more housing items, glamour, a lot of the shisui sweat, uh, sweat? A lot of the shisui sweat set is in here for this Mog Pentium event. We have minions. We have a bunch of time-worn maps, writing maps, triple triad cards, more minions, a bunch of stuff. My recommendation too is if you don't know what to spend it on or you have everything here, MGP Platinum cards are a good one to use. You get 50,000 MGP for 30 of these Tome Stones, which is really not hard to get. Save up MGP, because usually there's a lot of stuff that they add in the Gold Saucer at a later date, and it's never a bad idea just to stock up. And so I will put the link to this special website in the description below. Let me know below if this is your first Moogle Treasure Trove event. Is it or is it not? Uh, what do you think about the Moogle Treasure Trove events? I know people kind of have very different opinions on it. Some people think it's kind of silly. Other people love it and go crazy. Other people kind of only do it if they're bored and have nothing to do. I, I think that they're fun. I think it's kind of nice to have something small like this to kind of get you back into the game more than just maybe raid logging or if you kind of stepped away at the end of a, a lull patch. It's kind of good to kind of like get a little bit of revitalization into the game and into content before the next patch. So I personally like them, but let me know in the comments below what you think. And if you want to hang out with me more for more Final Fantasy XIV news, updates, and memes, come hang out, subscribe to the YouTube channel, give this video a like, it means a lot to me and my channel. And I'm on Twitch multiple times a week, as well as very active in Discord with our Discord community, so come hang out, and we will see you in-game. Bye!